I remember being asked, John, if you get this role, how would you go about increasing student retention? If you got this role, what would be the first thing you would do? If you got this role, what are some programs you would consider implementing? And you want to come ready to provide solutions, ready to provide insight, ready to share your thoughts, your beliefs, everything like that. Because if you don't, then they're going to assume that you weren't ready or you weren't prepared. What's going on, family? Welcome to another episode of Beyond the Ball. I'm your host, Jonathan Jones, and this is where we strive to help student athletes succeed beyond their degree. All right. And today is no different than any other. But today I want to share a clip from a presentation that I did. And in this clip, it's giving you the cheat code to how you can successfully thrive in any potential interview to get any job that you want. So this is the cheat code. All right, I'm going to play this clip, and then we're going to come back and then break it down. Is this helping anybody so far? Yes. Is this beneficial? Yes. Okay, cool. So let's say that I am going to interview Muhammad Ali. Okay, let's just say, what are 10 questions that I could ask Muhammad Ali for my podcast. <laughs> my man in the back, what's your name, sir? Pierre. Come up here, Pierre. Please come up here. Can we, can we give Pierre a hand clap as he comes? Come on, Pierre. So, I'm, so I, I wanted to bring Pierre up here just because Pierre, Pierre said he'd be on Google Gemini, man. I just wanted to bring him up. So Pierre, man, do, do me a favor and just read, just read, the, just read two of the questions that, that you like. Two of the questions that you like and that you would ask Muhammad Ali if you had the, if you had the chance to interview him. What, what would be two of the questions that you would read from those 10? I like the first one. What inspired you to become a boxer and how do you develop your unique fighting style? Do y'all think that's, a, that's an interesting question, right? Yeah. That sounds like somebody took time and thought about that, right? <laughs> man, give, give me another one, Pierre. Give me another one. What's another one? Reflecting on your remarkable career, what do you hope people remember most about Muhammad Ali, both inside and outside the ring? Can I give you some depth? I like that one too, man. I was looking at that one too, man. Yeah, you are. Good job, man. Go ahead. Can we get up here one more time? Thanks, man. Awesome. So let's say that you're busy. Let's say you had a track meet. Let's say that you had a rowing competition. Let's say whatever it was, right? You didn't have time to think up questions. I know we're not gonna make a habit of this, but let's say you didn't have time. Then you can use ChatGPT. But then watch this. We don't like these 10 questions. Give me 10 more. Of course, here are 10 more questions for your podcast with Muhammad Ali. It's asking about his daughter, your daughter, Layla Ali, followed in your footsteps and became a successful boxer on, your, on her own right. What was it like for you to see her pursue a similar path, and how did you support her along the way? What? That's a great question. Oh, my goodness, Vic. That's not a good question? That's impre Isn't it? Oh, my goodness. Then it says, what else? Let's see. Da -da -da -da. Okay, wow, this is good. Your Parkinson's diagnosis in... The 1980s presented a new kind of challenge. How did you cope with the physical and emotional toll of the disease while still remaining active in public life? What are we talking about here? This is amazing. Get ChatGPT out of here. This is crazy. All right, so family, look, that was the clip. I, that was a clip that I pulled from a presentation that I uh, did in a podcast workshop for the University of Texas at Austin. And what I wanted us to really break down and extract from this is you never want to go into a room to where you don't already have some information, right? That's the first thing. You need to do your research. But if you're in the spot to where you can't do that much research or you don't even know the type of research to do, then you begin to ask, well, what should I do? How should I go about doing it? How can I do it? You saw I broke down in the clip, chat GPT, right? So with us understanding and knowing how to utilize and leverage chat GPT, we can begin to ask, what are the, what's the foundation of this company? 
What are the principles of this company? What does this company stand for? And when we begin to know and identify those things, then we can begin to share points about ourselves um, that will lean towards influencing the company to see us in a greater light, right? Then we also can begin to use and leverage information from my own personal accolades, from my own personal accomplishments that would be viewed or seen as awesome in their eyes, right? Because we know what they're looking for. We know what the company um, is built upon in terms of their foundation, their purpose, their mission, all those type things. But then even if we're like, I know that I should ask the CEO or the interviewing um, manager questions, but I don't know what questions to ask. Chat GPT that thing, okay? See what are the top 10 questions that you should ask an interviewer. What are the top 10 questions that you should ask an interviewing boss? In this way, now we have tools to where we can go in with questions. We can go in with ammunition. So we're not going to be on the fence at the end of the interview and they say, what questions do you have? And then you're like, uh, I don't know. Right. So the first thing you want to do is you want to do your research. Right. Just like you heard me say, do your research. OK, do your research. This is essential to you going in prepared. The second thing is you want to leverage LinkedIn. Right. You want to leverage LinkedIn and you want to make sure that your profile is up to par because some places they don't want you to send a resume anymore. They just want you to share your LinkedIn URL. So we want to have some information on there that's reflective of the job that we're applying for, right? And if you have information on there that's reflective of the job you're applying for, then they'll be able to see and look and say, oh, John does have experience in tech. Oh, John does have experience in working with other customers and customer relationship manager or whatever it might be. So we want to, you know, put, put some information on that LinkedIn profile and we want to have information on the LinkedIn profile so that when they search us on LinkedIn, they already see some information. And then you want to be ready to answer questions. You want to be ready to provide solutions because in certain job interviews for certain companies and certain industries, they're going to ask you because I remember, I remember being asked, John, if you get this role, how would you go about increasing student retention? If you got this role, what would be the first thing you would do? If you got this role, what are some programs you would consider implementing? And you want to come ready to provide solutions, ready to provide insight, ready to share your thoughts, your beliefs, everything like that. Because if you don't, then they're going to assume that you weren't ready or you weren't prepared even to consider giving them insight and opportunities or insight and ideas around the job that you're interviewing for. All right. So, family, uh, once again, this was or this is uh, the Beyond the Ball podcast. And this is also a Speak Your Success Media production. All right. So if you want to find out more about us and even if you'd like to see what it would take for us to come to your university and do a workshop or speak about career readiness, transition, all those good things, you can just click the link down below. Right. We have my booking form just down below um, in the show notes or you can just send me a message on Instagram. Jonathan Jones speaks. All right, family. Until then, this is Beyond the Ball, where we help student athletes succeed beyond their degree. Peace. And God bless.